Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another photo beat tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do something called manipulation. And what that is, is when you manipulate a photo to look like it was actually meant to be there. So in this example, I made it look like the river was actually going into the camera lens, but it really wasn't. That's what you call manipulation. And this is a really fun video to make, and it's actually not that hard to do. You just have to do a lot of experimenting. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first things first, you wanna have your pictures. I'm gonna be using a camera lens that I took from Google. And I'm also gonna find a picture of a city, which I found right here. And I'm just gonna right click on this, copy it, bring it back to Photo P and just hit Control V to paste it. And here it is, I'm just gonna hit Control Alt T and then I will shrink it by holding Shift to make it smaller. So the way I'm gonna size this is I'm going to make the top of the picture touch the bottom of the canvas. Okay, so now once you get to this point, we can go over here and turn the opacity down just a tiny bit to about 54, it doesn't really matter. And go down here and click on raster mask. So we're gonna add a raster mask and go over here to your brush tool, go up here, make sure it's a soft mechanical and you can just adjust the size like that or you can hold alt and right click and you can adjust the size like this at any time. And so you see how this box is white right here, the raster mask, you wanna make sure this top one is black. So if you have it on white, it'll bring the picture back. If you have it on black, it will fade the picture out. So if I start to hold left click, you'll see that it's fading the picture out. But if I hit X, it'll flip these colors and you can see I'm bringing the picture back. So it's actually really cool. Um, there's actually another way you can do this. I'm not gonna show it in the video, but in designing, there's so many ways to do the same thing and that's what I love about it. So right now I'm just holding left click and fading out the things around the camera. I just want whatever's inside to show and maybe some of the river. So now if I uh, turn the opacity back up, you could see we have this and we can work with this a little bit better. Oh, make sure you're on your raster mask or else it will not work. So I'm bringing back some of the river and it, it looks pretty good. Let's bring back some of the picture and fade it out manually. Just a little bit of darkness around the picture looks really good. Not too much though. Just a nice outline. Yeah, so basically like that. And if you wanna get in these really fine areas, just turn the size down on them like that. And it's easy to get rid of them, especially around these edges where you don't want it to be showing outside the lens. Okay, there you go. The picture is completed and you can adjust whatever you want. There's tons of things you can do. You know what? I'll do one more thing. If I add a sun glare PNG from online, so just look up sun glare PNG, find one, bring it back into photo piece. So we have it right here. I could put it like this and it's a little too yellow. So what I'm going to do is go up to image adjustments, um, hue and saturation, and I'm going to turn it to more sun look like that, hit okay. Oops, and there we go. There's the picture, it's completed. It looks super cool, and I hope you guys enjoyed. So if you did, leave a like and subscribe as always, man. Let's get me to, uh, let's get to 3,000, and I'm guessing we'll get that in like a month, but we'll see. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.